Hey, what's up, my friends? Thanks for joining me today. Today we're throwing a uh, newer bait to me. I haven't thrown this before. I haven't actually thrown this brand very much. This is the Savage Gear Ned Goby. So we will be throwing out a one tenth ounce Ned head, which I'll show y'all after the video if you stick with me. But this is a pretty good looking bait. Got a couple different colors. This is the one we're starting out with. It's got an orange belly and a kind of like a pumpkin head. I'll get the exact name of the color when we uh, get back to the place. I uh, kind of just threw them in a bag. <laughs> Actually, their bag, but it's for the other color. Anyhow, guys, uh, we're going to try to get on some fish. We're throwing on some BFS gear, and uh, hopefully we can, get, we can get a bite. Oh, there's something right there. Let's see. That would be a cool way to start the video. <laughs> yes. All right, it's already producing for us. <laughs> Let me get this out of you, my friend. <laughs> okay, so the Ned Goby, it works. It worked. <laughs> nice, uh, nice crappie right there. All right, that was a good intro. I was about to redo it because I could see I was only halfway in the camera. But all right, guys, let's get some fish on. Let's have a good time. Uh, I need some coffee right now. Oh, Lord. All right, guys, thanks. There's a the fish. Little crappie taking the old uh, Ned. Alright. Good fish, good start to the day. They are biting. Just gonna be fishing this like a Ned rig, real, real slow. It has a very slow drop rate too. So we are possibly battling some rain. Looks like we had a 20% chance for the first couple hours we'll be out here, and then uh, the last two it gets a little bit higher. So I had to bring a rain jacket just in case, see if it's not too bad. It is very humid. It's about humid and in the high 50s right now. Here's a fish. Feels like a crappie. Yep. Getting some good looking ones on this morning. Nice little little one. These fish are still in pre-spawn, so we're still getting them. Surprised we haven't had any yellows on. They are also pre-spawn right now. But they like the Ned Go. I was a. Uh, I thought this bait would. Uh, would just kill it and it looked really good to me online you know where i ordered it and then when i saw it in person i liked it as well i like the material kind of feels like one of those uh, z-man type baits oh you see that the scar but yeah I'm pretty impressed so far it's got a real slow drop rate it's got that kind of plastic I think it's got that plastic that doesn't play well with others as well. There's like a warning on the package about it. I'll read that later. I 
actually spilt an entire cup of coffee this morning. That was really unfortunate. Walking down my stairs, man. Dropped that thing at rods in two hands. My backpack was on one shoulder and swung down, knocked my cup out of my hand. I went to McDonald's and filled it up there. Something about that McDonald's coffee, it's so good. <laughs> like, and I love coffee, I love Starbucks and all that, but that McDonald's is just like nostalgic for me. It's not even the best coffee, but I just remember uh, I would always get, whenever I'd get McDonald's breakfast, it would be a special occasion. So, kind of reminds me of that. Either going hiking with my dad, we'd always stop and get McDonald's for breakfast real early in the morning, or even when I was started living on my own, hang out with buddies and we'd have a bad hangover after an awesome night, we'd go to McDonald's and grab some coffee and food. There's a fish. A little good looking one. How dark he is. I have to show you all. Got the coloration on this one, guys, on that Ned Gobi. That's a beautiful one. Good looking fish. I'll get you back in the water. We're gonna try to get a couple more on. This is a nice morning. Looks like we're beating out that rain. That's pretty awesome, guys. Glad I came out. Right. So there are bass smashing. Let's throw our swim bait in a little bit. I really want to catch one this morning. I think that would be nice. I know we're kind of just having some fun with these crappies, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good distance on that. Got one. Barely got yet that. I'll get some more y'all on. That's a pretty one. That's a real pretty one. All right, we did bring two baits out, as you guys can see. I thought my buddy Kyle, who's been featured on the uh, channel before, told me that they were out hit me off to a little swim bait bite going on so I figured I'd give that a shot oh yeah gosh we get the most beautiful bass here look at that red eye guys we're gonna try to catch a couple more of these guys oh, look at her guys look at her this is a great sign these bass are coming off their beds and we are catching them We're gonna try to pick off a couple more. Uh, we might walk around and just fish them off that bank. So that's like a real, real good way to catch them if you, really in any situation, if you got a lot of rip wrap, for me at least. Tore up our old uh, Kytec pretty good. It's a four inch Kytec. I bet we can pull another one out from like right over there. All right guys, so we, we uh, got a good uh, good taste of that Ned rig. I feel real good about it, uh, giving a solid review, but let's go try to get some more bass on. Let's throw this Kytec around. I'm gonna hop over to the other side. We might throw the Ned rig a bit more, but I'm gonna go see what's going on over there. All right, thanks guys. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Actually scared the crap out of me. That's a giant drum. <laughs> At least I think so. Come on in. Yeah, it's a drum. Man, you 
hit that like a tank. That's a chunk. <laughs> It's a big old, big old drum, guys. We are just catching a lot of them. Oh, okay. Bent my hook out. Using fairly light wire hooks right now. Good thing you didn't hit the net, right? Probably would have demolished that hook. Not too crazy about those ones. All right, we got one more hour before I gotta go pick my little man up, so. See if we can't get a bass on, maybe two. Yes. <laughs> Tiny one. A little baby spot red eye. <laughs> little fry. Send this to your mama. That's what I'm talking about there. You can even kind of see them. And most of the time, if you uh, get right in front of where that boil was and stop and jerk that bait, get a strike. There's one. There's a nice one. All right. Nice fish. Got him real good. Beautiful one. About the same size as our other. I'll get you on the camera though. Look at this beauty, guys. How good looking little, little white belly. Real beautiful little red eye right there. Man, I am so happy that these bass are back. They're, they are slowly, not in a huge frequency yet, but we are catching them. I am stoked. There's a fish. Oh, come on in. Oh, yeah. That's like a nice one. Oh, you're not big, but you're beautiful. Oh, my gosh. You guys see that? He just spit out uh, another. Oh, no. That was mine. Yeah. That was mine. <laughs> thought that was another dude's swim bait. Good looking. Good looking guys, beautiful fish. We're having a solid day. These spots are just tearing it up. The most beautiful red eyes. Get another uh, little bait. This is turning out to be way more productive of a bass day than I thought. Coming down now. We got a great haul. I'm gonna make this the last guys. Hey, what's up my friends? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it as always. It is early in the morning over here. Um, got Mars in the house just causing a nuisance. Looking out the window, he's just barking at random passerby dogs. I don't know why he does not like other fluffy dogs. I think I mentioned that in another video, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here. So in this video, we were fishing the Savage Gear Ned Gobi. I was quite impressed with this one. I, I really, so it's a brand, I haven't fished a lot of Savage Gear stuff. Um, I don't really know 100% what to expect from this type of bait. I surely haven't uh, ever fished one of their Ned Rig type baits. So uh, I got it. It looked great online. I got it over here. Um, 
and I had it for a while before I fished it, but I, I was pretty impressed with it. Um, it is scented, uh, quite unpleasant really. Um, it has salted as well. It also has this kind of uh, that plasticky insert. Um, I don't know if that's even show up on the camera. I'll pull it out to show you guys. So that kind of cool insert to protect the baits, which is nice. Uh, they are two and three quarters inch, and the two colors I chose were um, Alabama Craw. I like this one a lot. Um, it's got that kind of pumpkin-y back with that orange belly. I knew that would probably get torn up pretty well. And uh, I also got, I want to make sure I get this right, Watermelon Craw. A watermelon craw kind of looks like your green pumpkin -y almost uh, I liked that too I, I initially uh, planned on throwing this one a little bit more and this was kind of my wild card but uh, I started out with this and I started getting hit on it it was quite quite good I did catch a couple fish on this I'm not sure if I did show them in the video but watermelon craw is a fine color as well now I'll show you all this uh, bait exactly so like I said, it is the two and three quarters inch and it is that plastic that does not play well with others. It is the, as I said, the warning label says, do not store Duratec with any other kind of plastic baits or in conventional plastic storage boxes. We recommend storing Duratec in its original packaging. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that means it's gonna melt the heck out of your baits and possibly your boxes. Um, which I'm not taking that risk. I have made that mistake with the Z-Man plastics before. I have melted, I didn't even know that was a thing and I melted the heck out of a bunch of my plastics because I tried to get all organized and put them in a box some time ago. Uh, obviously it does not come with this. This is mine, I brought it out. It's the uh, Z-Man Finesse Shrooms and it's not bad. It is a fairly light wire hook. I have put those up before. These are in um, one tenth is what I was throwing. Uh, so it, it's nice. Those, they're nice net heads because they're affordable. They're not the best quality ever, but honestly, at some of the rates they charge for these net heads, I'd take my chances having a lot and uh, snagging up probably more so than buying uh, a ridiculously expensive pack of three that I'm going to snag and lose in an hour because I fished that true Ned rig where the uh, hook pops through right there. Uh, then again, that's just me. If I was fishing a tournament or something, you know, maybe I'd want the uh, quality over quantity. But um, in this case, if if I can uh, save myself a bunch of money and uh, not lose my mind every time I snag up, I'm probably gonna take that. It's just I can I can catch. I'm not catching gigantic ten pounders either. So not a big deal. Now these baits are extremely detailed. You got right in the mold. It's got like eyes on it, pectoral fins, you got a dorsal fin right there. There's even a little gill plate molded on it. Um, these, this tail is pretty cool. Um, basically it is solid about halfway through and then it becomes almost tube-like uh, down to your tails, which I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, someone put a lot of thought into making this bait and, and I, I appreciate that. I like it. It fished very well too. Also, I like how much plastic you have there. I like the kind of plastic it's made out of because you can reset it a couple times. And I mean, that is not going anywhere. That is some tough plastic. I had no issue whatsoever fishing it. So I, I give that like a 10 out of 10, man. That was a solid bait. Now, I didn't catch any bass on it. I'm sure you could. This type of time of year, excuse me, here in uh, the, the Tennessee, Kentucky border right around where I'm fishing, these river fish, they are chasing bait fish more so than craws. So as it heats up, I'm gonna be probably throwing a lot more Ned Rigs, craw type baits and stuff, but now is the time of the paddle tail, uh, swim baits, crank baits, that sort of deal. They, they're reacting extremely well to a little more motion in the water. Um, I find that in fall time as well. Now, for that I brought a four inch Kytec. Um, and this is the Easy Shiner, which I do have an episode on the three inch Easy Shiner for a little bit of crappie fishing, but the four inch is uh, one of my go-tos for uh, catching bass on paddle tails. Now this one is Sight Flash. And I actually just got back from Academy where I caught, or where I bought, or they caught me, I bought a, 
a bunch of real cool paddle tails, a couple brands I've never heard of before, and some crankbaits that I'm excited about featuring on the channel. Um, however, these are solid. I love them. I love how like sleek the body is because I can put my ball uh, head jigs in there. And I gotta say, guys, I if, if you watch the channel, um, I, I do fish a lot of ball head jigs on. Uh, swim baits on little paddle tails. Uh, I like I like fishing my swim baits that way. I do. I mean, bigger ones, big meaty ones. Yeah, I'm gonna put a big old swim bait hook in there. But for the most part, if I can get away with it, I'm gonna get finessey with my uh, swim baits. I'm gonna throw them on little ball heads. The uh, we did bend out one of the hooks, and that was because there's also a lot of strain I didn't show. Like you know, I don't really show what I'm snagging up and yanking my bait free and stuff 24/7. But uh, I did uh, put a little strain on that hook. Like it wasn't 100% that fish that bent it out. It was, it was partially me messing with it a bit, you know, putting it to the limit. But uh, anyhow, uh, great, great uh, swim bait there, man. Their action is just unmatched. If I need a swim uh, paddle tail that I can count on, you know what? I'm throwing one of these. And uh, I, like I said, I like that sleek body, almost more so than impact swings, which I do enjoy as well. They are not the most durable. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. This uh, tends to happen, as you guys know, if you do throw these. If you don't, I really recommend trying them out or trying out a paddle tail in general. Maybe I'll do more of a how-to type deal for paddle tails, but they do shred up. So this one, uh, shred up in, in an easy way, like a, kind of a cool trick that I learned with my swimming flukes when I was just having a major white bass vest is I just bite off a bit of the nose and then rehook it in there and you can get like three or four more fish out of that bait however these get torn up pretty quick as soon as you uh you start resetting the hook a few times you're done I mean I caught a couple maybe like two three fish off of one and no not even I, th I think the longest lasting one in this episode was like two fish and then the other one one fish spit one right out and Anyhow, I was starting that with the ball head jig assortment. Now I have a bunch of these. These Eagle Claw, they're extremely inexpensive. You can get them at Walmart. That is why I fish the brand so often. Um, Big Bait Bites actually make some pretty solid ball head jigs as well that are pretty similar. And you can pick your color. Because this one you got, these are quarter ounce. Um, you got your orange i'm not really trying to use <laughs> um, the uh bright green maybe maybe orange and uh bright green these are like highlighter colors at at uh, night possibly uh there's a pink in there that's extremely bright i like the white and the black though uh i don't think that small little patch of color makes too much of a difference having a red in there would have been cool maybe replace the orange with the with the red, I don't know if that's just me. Okay, so uh, down to the uh, rods. I know I'm talking to your off this morning, but I don't usually fish two baits on the channel. I try to do one bait per episode, but granted, uh, I knew I had been tipped off to the bass starting to come out. I wasn't sure if we'd catch a lot, so I wanted to have another bait to uh, do some solid crappie fishing as well. But. We're throwing the Daiwa Black Label, and I did do a review on this in the channel very recently, uh, two episodes ago. Um, so this one is a 610 medium light fast action rod. Um, well, absolutely awesome rod, super enjoyable. It was my second time taking it out uh, for this episode. I had a really good time fishing it. It, threw, it just tosses like baits a mile. It was a lot of fun to use. Um, uh, I got that paired with a Daiwa Silver Creek Stream Custom, or Air Stream Custom, excuse me. And I will put this uh, this gear and baits in the description as well. I try to do that every single episode. Uh, in fact, I do do that every single episode. So if you're ever curious on one, uh, I'll throw it in there. This is an 8.5. This is their really cool, really neat BFS reel. Um, it's a pleasure to fish with. I also was using... Now this is one of my favorite rods. 
uh, of all time. Not not just this rod in particular, the uh, the series of rods. I really really enjoy fishing with it. It is just a pleasure. It's extremely sensitive. I mean, the the sensitivity rivals my NRX. It's really 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 good. Um, now this is the Dobbins Champion HP Extreme. Uh, and yes, I did say that right. This is the DX704C. Um, and it is a seven foot, one piece, uh, quarter ounce to one ounce heavy fast action rod. So it is a heavy fast action rod. Um, and their heavy is almost like a St. Croix medium heavy, I'll say it that way. I, they, their rods, I, they do typically tend to run light, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I really like a Dobbins heavy, and I think their fast action is the best in the market. Um, that's one thing Dobbins has never let me down with. All right, guys, I don't know why my GoPro has been cutting out, but I will catch y'all later. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, get some good fish on. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.